Good morning. This is very very important result to show that the set of real numbers is uncountable. Before starting with the proof, let's recall few points first that are also very important. The first one is every infinite set of a countable set is countable. Right? And second, the set which is neither countable nor finite is uncountable set. Right? Okay. I need to show that set of real numbers is uncountable. Right? I'm going to prove this result by a contradiction. That means I need to suppose that set of real numbers is let's say countable right and then according to the first remark that is every infinite set of a countable set is countable so let's take an infinite set of the set of real numbers so i'm taking the set of real numbers in open interval 0 1 Yes, there are infinitely many real numbers in this open interval 0, 1 and it is your infinite set. Right? And is a subset of the set of real numbers. Now the result is saying that every infinite subset of a countable set is countable. That is what we are saying that this infinite set is countable. This is what the result is saying. I'm reading this again. Every infinite set of a countable set is countable. If I suppose that the set of real number is countable, then I have taken the infinite set of this set of real numbers by the first result, then this infinite set is countable. Because I need the contradiction, so for that, I have to prove that this infinite set is uncountable. If I prove that this infinite set is uncountable, then this will be a contradiction to this first result. And then we say that, and then we say that our supposition was wrong, that the set of real numbers is countable. That means this set of real numbers is uncountable. It should be uncountable, right? So let's prove this result step by step. To show that set of real numbers is uncountable, right? For that, we have to suppose that if possible, suppose the set of real numbers is countable. Then, according to the first remark, every infinite subset Of a countable set is countable, right? And we have taken this infinite subset to be the set of real numbers in the open interval 0, 1, right? To get the contradiction to this result, it is enough to show that the set of real numbers in 0, 1 open interval is uncountable, right? So, it is enough to show that the set of real numbers in the open interval 0, 1 is uncountable, right? Okay, let's suppose that if possible, suppose the set of real numbers in the open interval 0, 1 is countable. And we are having the property of a countable set that when the set is a countable set, then its term can be arranged in a sequence. So, if this is a countable set, then all the terms of the interval 0, 1 can be arranged in a sequence. Let's say xn. That is equal to x1, x2, x3, up to so on. So, these are the terms of the open interval 0, 1, right? 
Now the numbers belonging to the open interval 0, 1 having the decimal expansion. So each real number in xi has a decimal expansion, right? That is xi is equal to 0. Point, let's say ai1, ai2, ai3 up to so on. Where each aij is 0, 1, 2 up to 9. That is ai1, ai2, ai3. These can be any of these digits. Either 0, 1, 2. You can take any of these digits for these places. Now to get the contradiction, I will prove that there exists another real number which is not equal to any of the term of the sequence xn. Then I get the contradiction, right? That is, it is not equal to even x1, x2, x3 up to any of the terms belonging to the sequence xn. But y is a real number and the interval 0, 1 is containing all the set of real numbers and this y is not equal to any of the term belonging to the set of real numbers in this open interval. So that will be a contradiction, right? And then we say that our supposition was wrong, that is the set of real numbers should be uncountable, right? Okay. So let's get that y a real number which is not equal to any term of the sequence xn. So let's consider the real number y which has the decimal expansion y equal to 0 point let's say b1, b2, b3 right where bi is equal to let's say 1 if a i i is not equal to 1 and it is equal to 2 if a i i is equal to 1 for i equal to 1 2 3 so on now let's take first i equal to 1 for i equal to 1 we get b1 to be equal to 1 if a i i that is a 1 1 is not equal to 1 and for i equal to 1 we take x 1 to be equal to 0 point a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 so on now b 1 equal to 1 if a 1 1 not equal to 1 that means the first decimal place of y is equal to 1 if this decimal place is not equal to 1. That is, if I am getting 1 over here, there should not be 1 in this place. Okay, next, b1 is equal to 2 if a11 equal to 1. So, we get b1 equal to 2 if a11 equal to 1. That means, that is, this b1 is 2. If this a11 is 1, so if this a11 is taking the value 1, then b1 will take the value 2. So y differs from x1 in the first decimal place. Similarly, y differs from x2 in the second decimal place. So on, y differs from xn in the nth decimal place right so this is how we show that there exists a real number y which differs from each x1 x2 x3 so on that means y is not equal to any of the terms of the sequence xn right so let's write this since y differs from x1 in the first decimal place and differs from x2 in the second decimal place so on differs from xn in the nth decimal place right so therefore what we are saying that no term of 
the sequence xn is equal to y. Right? Now since y is lying between 0, 1 and y is a real number. Therefore, y must belong to the open interval 0, 1. But we have proved that no term of the sequence xn is equal to y. Right? So this is the contradiction because y is also a real number. So thus, y belonging to the open interval 0, 1 and we have shown that no term of xn is equal to y which is a contradiction. So therefore, our supposition was wrong. What we have supposed that? The set of real number in 0, 1 is countable, right? So we have supposed this to be wrong. That means the set of real numbers in open interval 0, 1 is uncountable. Right? Since the set of real numbers in 0, 1, the set of real numbers in 0, 1 is neither countable nor finite. That means this set is a uncountable set. So therefore, the set of real numbers in interval 0, 1 is uncountable. So we have shown that the infinite subset of a countable set is uncountable, right? Infinite subset is the set of real numbers in 0, 1. And here countable set is taken to be as R. And we have shown that this infinite subset is uncountable, which is a contradiction to the first result that every infinite subset of a countable set is count and we have shown that the infinite subset of a countable set which we have supposed to be as the set of real numbers is uncountable so this is a contradiction to this result so this implies our supposition was wrong that means this set of real numbers should be uncountable right so let's write this. So the set of real numbers in 0, 1 is uncountable, which is a contradiction to the result. Every infinite subset of a countable set is countable, right? As the set of real numbers in open interval 0, 1 is a subset of the set of real numbers that is R, right? So our supposition was wrong that we have supposed that R is a countable set. This supposition was wrong. So therefore, the set of real numbers that is R is uncountable. Alright, thank you. Stay blessed.